I thought it was a great ride. It was one of the first things I did when I came here. I love that you start out in pine trees, and you actually go down in elevation for a little bit, and you get to wide open spaces. I think it's just cool to be able to be on a real train. It was like riding in a Cadillac. The dome is beautiful. I looked up, there was actually glass you could see through. It really gives a whole different perspective. It's, it's very peaceful. It was just so cool to just look down at the canyon. This is the real deal. This is a real train. This is a big locomotive. The thing I like about being on the train, the staff. The staff, they're all, they love their jobs. Well, I've been dressing up and playing cowboy since I was three years old. I finally found a way to get paid for it. They told me there's going to be robbers. I was like, what do you mean? They tried to take my ring. <laughs> the crooks told him I'd fight him for it, and he said, I think you would. <laughs> it's awesome. It's fun. We've enjoyed absolutely everything of it, from the, the start of the, uh, the gunfight. Watch the families have vacation time together, and the advantage of the train is nobody's having to drive. So you can give your undivided attention to your kids instead of having to watch for everybody on the highway. And so it just makes it for a nice, relaxing adventure. The trains change almost on a daily basis. Diesels, we've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine total steam engines. We've got two. You can sit in your seat and leave the driving up to old Mike up in front in the locomotive. Have you a highball if you want, who cares? I mean, it's just a fun way to travel. The different landscapes, the High Plains Desert, the largest Ponderosa Grove in northern Arizona, the fact that we're a part of one of the biggest natural volcano areas in northern Arizona. All these things will be shown to you, will be offered to you, as you sit back and relax and enjoy the ride. On our train, the passenger service attendants spend a lot of time making sure people know what to expect when they get here. So we really want to help people maximize their stay here, have them get the experience that they want, both at the Grand Canyon Railway and also here at the South Rim. The Grand Canyon Railway, I think, can also be seen as helping us deal with keeping this park clean and preserved. We have four and a half million visitors a year, and if everybody drove a car into the park, we could not actually support that. We have musicians on the train that will come through the train, and they will play Western songs, cowboy songs, as you're on your journey up to the Grand Canyon. We do the chicken dance on this train a lot. And I select the songs that are fun for folks. We'll do, I've been working on the railroad and different things like that. This is the most fun thing I've ever done in my life. When you disembark the train at the South Rim Depot, you're right below the historic El Tavar Hotel built in 1906, and you get to walk up to the rim. It's a very short walk, or you can take one of the tours. I think the Grand Canyon is the biggest single wow moment that you can have in any of our national park systems. On our return trip in the afternoon, somehow those scoundrels with that Cataract Creek gang managed to get on that train every day. I don't know how they do that, but uh, it's my job to track them down. And they board the train and they do come through and they do rob you. And it's all in fun and it's all a part of the experience. They've been terrorizing these train passengers for 20 plus years here now. And uh, I think today might be the day I catch them. It's all here. It's, you can put together a wonderful vacation. A lot of people come here for overnight and end up being here four or five days. We're all about family activity and all about family, friends, children, and just bringing the experience home to you.